In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and we'll take a quick look at this FM2 board from ASRock. This is the FM2A75M-DGS, as you can see there. Like I said before, this is a socket FM2 board. Recommending an A8 or an A6 processor, but I'm not sure. I guess it's going to work with the A10 and the A4, but I guess this is basically saying that this is a a mid-range board here. I guess that's what I'm gathering. Look at the side there. Micro ATX, two DDR3 slots, one, it's a 2.0 PCI Express. We've got USB 3.0 and six SATA 3. On the back is some of the features. 7000 series graphics in the APU DirectX 11. This is dual graphics capable so we can use the graphics from the APU and then combine it with uh, a discrete graphics card steady video so this is AMP and XMP memory profiles instant flash online management guard I thought this was interesting this ASRock dehumidifier I'm guessing it must uh, in a uh, sleep state it must every so often activate the fans in the case and uh, you know replace the air that's inside kind of interesting I don't know if I'd actually consider it a dehumidifier more as a just um, I don't know an air replacement type thing but yeah catchy nonetheless and then this is an interactive UEFI which I'm kinda of curious uh, playing with this a little bit and see what that's all about and there's that again. Okay, so let's start off and open it up. We've got the rear I.O., just the standard silver. Then we have, this is, okay, this is a paper describing what the, uh, excuse me, 555 is. It's five times a LAN, five times USB, and five times system speed, which I'm not sure what they're basing that off of, but that sounds, um, I don't know, doesn't sound like a very good claim. I'm not sure how they could pull that off, but uh, depending on, I mean, I suppose for USB, it could be um, with with it could be five times as fast USB because it's USB 3.0. But anyway, um, just. I guess, you know, could be read here to, uh, oh, I see, five times, okay, the XFast LAN there, USB performance measured with Addo disk benchmark, interesting, oh, and the XFast, yeah, I suppose, depending on, uh, yeah, doing that, you know, the XFast RAM, XFast USB, and XFast LAN, yeah, five times, though, that's, that's a considerable increase. Then we have the manual, or excuse me, quick installation guide as they would call it. We have a driver disc, but it is always good to download the newest ones off of the website. We have a pair of SATA 3 6 gigabit a second cables. One is a uh, straight to 90 degree angle. That looks like it, and now we have the board itself. Like I said before, it is a micro ATX board. Okay, now we'll start off at the rear I.O. Got a pair of PS2 ports, VGA, DVI. We've got four USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0. Gigabit Ethernet up there and audio out. Then stepping back here, we can see real quickly, we'll start off at the top, we have the FM2 socket and then the cooler retention built in there. See, there's a CPU fan there, header. We've got uh, the 2 DDR3 and it supports up to 2400 MHz. There's the standard 24-pin connector. Oh, and I missed that, there's a 4-pin CPU power. We've got 6 out of 3. Another uh, three-pin fan header there. 
Then we have a PCI Express uh, by 16 2.0, and we've got a buy one, and then a standard PCI slot. We've got another chassis fan there that's a four pin, front panel connectors, parallel port. Here is a USB 3.0 there uh, for the front panel. Then there's one, two, three sets for six more USB 2.0. Down here we have a COM port and we have HD audio front panel. And I was going to see if we had any more fan headers here, but it doesn't appear. So we've got the CPU one there, we've got one there, and then a chassis fan there. So we've got three fan headers, which isn't horrible for, a, I would call this a budget to mid range board here get another look at it you know we don't have any heat sinking on the VRMs there or anything so yeah I would call this definitely not an overclocking or an enthusiast board for sure um, of course I guess the FM2 or the A series processors aren't really you know intended to be used that hard anyway so okay that about wraps it up for this socket AM2 motherboard and again this was the FM or excuse me not AM2 excuse me it's an FM2 socket AM2 that was quite a while ago okay so again this is the ASRock FM2 A75M DGS motherboard and as always thank you for watching